The movie Finding Faith premiered tonight at Thomas Road Baptist Church in Lynchburg. The film is based on cases that Bedford Sheriff Mike Brown has investigated through his Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force. Parker Slaybaugh walked the red carpet tonight, and Parker, this is pretty exciting. Very exciting, Dominique. More than a year of planning, five weeks of filming, and months of editing all came to a conclusion tonight. The cast and crew, dressed to impress, for the first time saw the finished product of Finding Faith. The stars were shining bright on the red carpet. Movie stars, that is. For even just one night, Lynchburg got a taste of Hollywood. More than 5,000 people packed Thomas Road Sanctuary in two overflow rooms, all to see the world premiere of Finding Faith. Executive producer Jason Campbell says without the community, tonight wouldn't have been possible. 400 people in the community came together to make this film, and they're all here celebrating this tremendous thing that we accomplished. Finding Faith tells the story of Faith Garrett, a teenager who was abducted by an online sexual predator. Jonathan Phillips plays the bad guy in the movie. He says while he's excited to see himself on the big screen, <laughs> he says this movie is about much more than telling a story. If we just save one child, you know, from a predator, we've done our job. I hope that it increases awareness on internet safety for teenagers. Lauren Paul plays investigator Brooklyn Cole. She says filming was the easy part. Now it's just nerve-wracking because I'm a little afraid to see myself on screen. The film is based on a true story and actually events that Bedford County Sheriff Mike Brown investigated. Eric Estrada plays Sheriff Brown. He says he hopes the movie serves Clear. as a call to action. We need internet safety education put in every school in this country because the best way for protection is prevention. Estrada says the great thing about movies is the message will long outlive the messenger. And even after we're long dead and gone, this movie will still be around. Some kid will watch it. After tonight, Estrada and several others will take the movie on tour, visiting churches and community centers all over the country. And Dominic, I don't know if the official reviews are in yet, but I certainly give the movie two thumbs up. Live in Lynchburg Studio, Parker Slayball, ABC 13 News.